So, most of the people who would consider buying the HomePod Mini would either buy it for listening to the music, or maybe using Siri, or operating the HomeKit devices. And well, it's a cute little thing, not too expensive, and it looks nice and it produces a decent sound. But my dream has always been to find something that would replace the internal speakers of my Mac. I mean, they are good, but I want something bigger. But the big HomePods are a little bit expensive for me, so I ordered the HomePod Minis. It's Alex here, welcome to the Geeks Table, and let's start our Q&A session. Question number one. Can a HomePod Mini be powered from a MacBook? Well, the device has a USB-C on the other end, so nothing can stop you from connecting it to your MacBook, and we can do it right now. But unfortunately, it won't work, so the HomePod Mini will blink, and this blink means that it's not enough power for it to start. HomePod Mini comes with a 20 watt charger brick in the box, you don't have to buy it separately, and some people joke that if you want to buy a 20 watt charger brick for your iPhone, buy a HomePod Mini, you'll get the charger and the strange round thing that comes as a bonus. I've also tried to charge it with the 18 watt charger brick that came with my iPhone 11 Pro, but unfortunately it was not enough as well. Also it's a bit sad that the HomePod Mini in black has still a charger in white. I think it would have been much cooler if the charger would be black as well. Question number two. Can you set up a HomePod from a Mac? And again, the answer is no. Though we have a home app on a Mac, but unfortunately we don't have any option to add an accessory from here. So you'll have to have an iOS device or an iPadOS device to set it up. And if you have a Mac and an Android phone, you'll have to ask someone to set it up for you. The setup is pretty obvious. You launch the home app, then you add accessory, you say you don't have a code, and then you select the home pod which is nearby. Then you select the room, let it be the living room. It says that we can use the personal requests, we don't need them for now. Siri for everyone, thank you, Siri and HomePod. Yeah, we transfer the settings. And now it asks us to center the HomePod and the frame. We shall do this. Okay. Question number three. Can we link two HomePod minis into a stereo group? Yes, and actually it's done pretty straightforward. You actually can do this on a Mac as well, but I will show you how it's done on iOS first. So we go to the Home app, we select any of those two HomePods here. I do long press, and here we have a cog wheel that will open the settings, and here we will just select the Create Stereo Pair. And we select both HomePod minis. Now we'll have to select which one of them will be the left channel and the right channel, so we can swap them if we want. And that's it. So we have to wait when, while they are configured, it's a matter of seconds, and we're already done. So now we can see them as a stereo pair. So we have two of them here. On the Mac it's done pretty much the same. You just right click on the, any of the home pods, click the settings, and then you create a stereo pair with another one. Pretty much the same. Question number four. Can we ungroup the HomePod beneath? Well, of course we can, otherwise it would have been very stupid, but it took me quite a while to figure it out. So this is done like this. So we long press the stereo pair, then we click this cog wheel, or actually we can use the force scroll. So if we long press, we can just force scroll it down. And here, all the way down, there is this button called Ungrouped Accessories, where we click Ungroup, and now, ta-da, we have two HomePod Minis separate in their original state. But I will make them a pair again, because this will be needed in the following up questions. Question number five. How good is HomePod Mini with Apple Music and Apple TV? If you plan to use it with Apple Music or Apple TV, then it would be a seamless experience. And, well, that always happens. As long as you are in the Apple's ecosystem, everything goes fine. You can use two HomePods as a stereo pair here, and the sound will be played with no delay at all. And I have to admit that they sound much better than the internal speakers. Question number six. How good is it for Spotify and watching YouTube? 
Well, first of all, you cannot use a stereo pair here. So basically the stereo pair doesn't work anywhere outside the Apple apps. That's a bit disappointing. Well, there is a workaround that I will show you shortly, but let's check the performance first. So whenever you listen to the music or watch the video, there can be from three to five seconds delay between you press the button and you hear the result. Also, when I was watching YouTube, the video got freezed from time to time, and that was not because of the weak connection. It was actually because the HomePod had to sync the video with the audio, and because audio was playing with a delay, it had to freeze the video for a few seconds. So here's an example. So I press the button. Special devices, the newly announced iPad Air and the iPad Pro 11 inch from 2018. See, and actually these glitches, these delays, they actually break the whole flow and they stop me from enjoying this device because every action that I do, I have to wait three seconds to take place. So it seems that for the third party apps, HomePod mini still uses AirPlay version one, not AirPlay version two. And I really hope that they could fix it in the following updates. Question number seven, can we still use two HomePod minis as a stereo pair outside Apple's apps? So I promised you and I will show you how to use two HomePod minis as a stereo pair outside the Apple apps. And for this, we need the Apple Music, where we select our stereo pair as an output device. And now we shall launch the app called Audio MIDI Setup. You don't have to download it, you have it in your utilities folder already. So when we open it, check the AirPlay that it has two outs. It's exactly these two HomePod minis. Then we go to the bottom left corner and click this Create Devices plus button. And we select the Create Aggregate Device. Here we can just name it as a, let's say, fake stereo pair. And here we have to select the AirPlay. It has two outs, so it's fine. Now we can close it. And now if we will go to the output devices, we will see that we have the stereo pair, which we can select. And all the sound from the MacBook will go through these two HomePod minis. If you won't see this one here, we well, can go to the sound preferences and select it manually from the list. It may accidentally disappear here, and then you will have to repeat the whole procedure, but I think it's a nice workaround to know. But do remember that this is called a workaround for a reason. You'll have to have the Apple Music app running all the time because if you close it, it will break all the magic. And also, you won't be able to control the volume from your MacBook and you'll have to use the hardware buttons on the HomePod minis instead. Question number eight. Is a HomePod mini good for VLC and QuickTime? Well, with VLC, I had the same weird delay as with the YouTube. You can see it right now. Even when I'm playing the sound and video together, they are not properly synced. And I'm ready to tell you everything about Apple's Pro Roll. So it definitely breaks all the experience. QuickTime as an app made by Apple is much better than VLC. So first of all, it can be, it can use the stereo pair as an output device. That's good. And also the delay is smaller. As you can see, it's much better, but again, it's because it's made by Apple. Question number nine. Is it good for Skype or Zoom? I've experienced a huge delay when using Skype, like when being on the other side of the line, I could finish talking, wait a bit, and hear the HomePod on the other side to finish my sentence. And Zoom is not better, so whenever I try to use the HomePod mini when calling my family or do the business calls, I had this unpleasant experience, so I would switch back to the headphones as soon as possible. Question number 10. Would I recommend HomePod mini to be used with a Mac? Well, in most of the cases, definitely no. It's a nice, good-looking device with a decent sound, but the playback delays and workarounds for the stereo pair to work, they just break the whole experience and, as I said, 
I don't enjoy using these things. But if you plan to use it only with the Apple ecosystem, with QuickTime, Apple Music and Apple TV, then you may try it. Yeah, really, give it a try. Then probably you will avoid all the pain points that I had. But as for me, I will return it back to Apple. This is not for me. I hope this video was useful for you. Hit a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more reviews. It's been Alex and see you at the Geeks Table. Bye bye.